Forensic science is a hot topic today, but did you know that discoveries in the area of forensics began as early as the year 250? Let's look at how forensic science has evolved. The year 250. In Greece, Erasistratus, a medical doctor, noticed that pulse rates of his patients increase when they lie. This is the first lie detection test. The year 1247. In China, Sun Tzu writes a book called Washing Away the Wrong. It is the oldest literature on using medical knowledge to solve a crime, describing how to systematically investigate a suspicious death. This book becomes the official text for coroners. 1840. In France, Matthew Orfila, known as the father of toxicology, applies the Marsh test to detect arsenic in the corpse of Charles Lafarge. Marie Lafarge is convicted of poisoning her husband with arsenic, a poison used to kill rats, also known in those days as the inheritance powder. She is the first person convicted mainly by forensic toxicological evidence. 1883. In France, police employee Alphonse Bertillon invents anthropometry. His system uses photography and recorded measurements of the human body to identify suspects and criminals. Let's take a closer look at the measurements that were taken for this man. eighteen ninety two in england sir francis galton classifies fingerprints into eight categories based on specific patterns these patterns prove useful in forensic science and are still used today here are three of the main fingerprint categories nineteen ten in france edmund locard establishes the first police crime lab a few years earlier he also formulated the Locard Principle, which is summarized as every contact leaves a trace. The 1920s In the United States, Luke May published an article in the Journal of Police Science called The Identification of Knives, Tools, and Instruments. He was one of the first American criminalists who studied striation, or tool marks. Also in the 1920s, in the United States, Scientists create a method that uses microscopes to compare bullets and matching firing pin impressions on their surfaces or casings. 1931. In Austria, Franz Holzer develops the ABO blood typing technique that was first used in forensic laboratories, especially before DNA analysis. 1937. In Germany, Walter Specht develops Luminol. Luminol is a chemical that gives off a blue glow when it comes in contact with blood and is often used to test for blood at crime scenes. 1950. In Switzerland, Max Freizolzer is the first to use tape to lift trace evidence. 1961. In Hungary, identification using lip prints is studied. 1974. In the United States, scientists develop gunshot residue methods using a scanning electron microscope. 1984. Sir Alec Jeffries discovers DNA fingerprinting, a unique genetic marker found in every human cell. DNA is the most important discovery in the field of forensic science to date. Visit our website www.highschoolelearning.com for free interactive lessons and to find out about our fun online courses.